Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a leaf blower here. It's made by Schroeder. It's uh, not a company that's well known like Steel or Husqvarna. Now the reason I ha I'm making a video today is because the customer dropped it off here. Uh, he was honest, told me, hey, I ran it without oil in the gas. You can have it if you want for parts or whatever. So I decided I would make a teardown video to show you what happens when you run your two cycle equipment with straight gas. And here's a close look at it. Here's the model number, SR6400L. Now I'm not sure where these are made, maybe in China, I'm not sure. The only place I've seen them for sale is on Amazon. And they're well priced, and if you look at them closely, guys, they do look like they're well built. I would definitely buy one if I was looking for one. And it's an actual two cycle. It's not a four mix with valves like steel. So the customer, like I said, brought it in, said, hey, I ran it with straight gas. You can have it. Uh, he was very honest about it. You can see the gas is still in there. It's not colored at all. So let's take this thing apart here. And I think what I need here is a Phillips screwdriver which is odd, usually they're Torx or Allen screws. I'm just so used to using my impacts with the bits that now I don't want to use a screwdriver and turn it by hand. Okay, let's get this off. All right, I think I'll take off the air intake over here or just right here. Okay, let's get this cover off here. It's a bit loose. Now, by the way, this looks like it's a German company uh, because the German flag is on it and the name is obviously German. So this machine, guys, looks like it's barely, barely been used. Look at the air filter. It's like brand new. Now, for some reason, all the screws are loose here. Look at that. That's why it's all loose like that. Okay, I'm going to take the carb off and this one uses Allen screws. And this is your typical two cycle carburetor that you find on a lot of other equipment. I've never taken one of these apart, so I'm not too quick on this one today. Okay, it looks like I might have to take these two Allen screws to get this off. There we go. Okay, let's get this plug off. There we go. Okay, more Allen screws here. Man, this thing looks brand new, guys. I'm hoping to find another cylinder kit for it. If you happen to know where, please comment below. There's another screw here. Now, if we look through the exhaust port, you can see that that piston is scored. All right, I'm going to remove the cylinder and those are Allen screws again. So I like to loosen them by hand first and then I grab my impact. And I think these Allen screw heads are number four. Oh, 
Okay guys, this is always the exciting part, taking the cylinder off and looking at the damage. Oh man, it's tight on there. There. There's some plastic behind there. Man, that's tight. I've never had such a hard time getting a two cycle cylinder off. Look at that spider. Look at that crazy spider in there. Better be careful here. Not sure what it is. Okay, this is a bit odd here to have such a hard time getting a cylinder off. There. There we go. It was actually this plastic piece here that was rubbing on the cylinder. So I think this hole here blows air to actually cool the engine. Wow, this is like super, super bad. And it's really bad on the intake as well as the exhaust. Wow. One ring is loose. And the other, the one at the bottom is stuck. And let's look at the cylinder here. Look at that, it's all scored up. Badly, very badly. Wow. Yeah, that's toast. When it's this bad, guys, you don't bother sanding or trying to fix it. You basically have to replace the piston rings and the cylinder. Okay, so it's very easy to see that the cylinder, piston, and rings are shot. They're, they're just not repairable. Now, I want to show you a few things to look at before you go and buy a cylinder kit for your two-cycle equipment if it's in this bad a shape. There's a few other things you want to check first because you could be putting a piston, cylinder, and rings in your equipment, but there could be other issues that were caused from running it without any oil in the gas. And that's what I want to show you right now. So on any two cycle equipment that's burned up like this one, what I check before I put a cylinder kit is I grab the piston like this and make sure the connecting rod's right at the top here. And then what I do is I pull up and down to check for play. So if there was a lot of play here in the connecting rod where it's on the crankshaft, there's no point in putting in a cylinder kit. That would mean that running it without oil and the gas has damaged the bearing in here and there's no point in fixing it because you're just going to end up with the same problem again, a damaged engine. Now this one here is quite tight and I am gently, well actually firmly, pulling up and pushing down and there's not any play that is of any concern in there. So that's a good sign. That means it's, it's good in here where the connecting rod is on the crankshaft. But another thing to check is to see if there's any play in the crank bearing on this side here. So I'll take off the recoil. And I do the same test here on the crankshaft is I grab it and then I push up and down to check for play even sideways. And this one's nice and tight. So I would be confident in putting a new cylinder kit in this leaf blower. Now I can see one of the crank bearings here and it does not look totally discolored. And the connecting rod here is not discolored as well. It's not blue as if it got really, really hot. Usually the piston rings and cylinder will give out before you damage the crankshaft or the connecting rod here. So yeah, I think this would be a good candidate if I can find a cylinder kit for it. I'm going to check online, but again, guys, if you know where I can get one, just let me know. I will buy the kit and make a video of me fixing it. And definitely I must drain the gas here so we don't get a repeat of what just happened. But again, look at this machine, guys. It's like brand new. There's no dirt anywhere on this machine. So I hope to find a kit, guys. I really, really hope so.
anyway, I hope uh, you've learned something here in this uh, teardown. Uh, we all know we shouldn't be running straight gas in two-cycle equipment, but hopefully the little techniques I showed you here in checking the play in the connecting rod and the crankshaft will help you in your future repairs. If you have any comments on this machine, guys, please comment below. And if you actually own one of these machines, make sure to comment, guys, because I'd like to get your feedback on these machines. So when I actually grab the machine, the plastic, it actually feels of good quality. Everything feels like it's good. It does not feel cheap. Even the hose here and all that looks pretty good. And I've seen good reviews on Amazon on these machines, actually. So with this machine here, we know exactly what the cause of death is, and that is no oil in the gas. Easy diagnosis. So that'll be it for this teardown video, guys. I'm just going to hang on to this machine and all the parts here in case I can fix it in the future. And thanks again for watching, guys, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.